We've been noticing three major misconceptions that beginners have about photography, and we wanted to clear the air a bit. We've noticed that beginners think that professional photographers mainly shoot with manual focus, and it took us a while to realize why they thought that. We're not talking about range finders or manual focus lenses. We get asked this about our normal DSLR setup with Canon L Glass. To set the record straight, when photographers are talking about shooting manual, they're talking about the manual mode on their camera. This means they're manually adjusting their shutter speed, ISO, and aperture, instead of shooting in other modes where the camera helps determine the best settings. It's very hard to get tack sharp focus without using autofocus, so take advantage of it. If you're having trouble nailing your focus, try using cross-type only points to focus. You can recompose your shot afterwards, just maintain the same distance between your lens and your subject. Whenever we show a photo in these videos, a lot of beginners ask us what our camera settings were, and a lot of times we oblige because it saves us time in the long run, but here's why that doesn't actually matter. Location, time of day, colors, etc. all play a role in determining correct camera settings. Even if you took our exact same settings and applied it to your specific shooting situation, your photos more than likely won't turn out the exact same. Generally, we like to keep our ISO as low as possible and our aperture pretty wide in the 1.2 to 2.8 range. Our shutter speed is usually at least 1 1 25th of a second, and we just adjust it as necessary. There's a popular opinion out there that buying and using another photographer's presets makes your photos unoriginal. And in our opinion, that just doesn't make sense. And it's not because we sell our own presets. We don't care whether or not you buy ours. The reason why it doesn't make sense is because before digital photography, photographers relied on film stocks to do what presets do for photos now. Obviously, there's a lot more flexibility in post-processing digital photos as opposed to film, but film photographers aren't unoriginal because they're not creating their own film stocks. And we don't believe that you're unoriginal if you're not creating your own presets. That being said, we do encourage you to create your own presets and modify others. And that's why we've done so many tutorials covering the intricacies of editing in Lightroom but we don't want you to feel bad about yourself if you're buying and using another person's presets. We hope that helps clear some things up, so Jimmy Jimmy Jam Jam that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys next time.